Hello everyone, welcome to our one minute, one image session on anatomy by me, Dr. Ankit Khandelwal, your anatomy educator. Let us see a few benefits of the courses. These are the iconic subscription. Here you can see the best of both platforms. These are a few of the special class features from interactive live classes to lecture notes anytime, anywhere. All the features. Plus you get an updated MCQ batch which has more than 25,000 plus MCQs. Then you have the, all the new batches which are going to start from 1st of September. In the FMG batch, NEET PG batches, NEXT batches. And then we have this still NEET PG one month package which is going on. Apart from this, we have the list of grant tests with the date and time over here. And then we have this yearly package as well as your four yearly packages still relevant. Once you check out, you get two options of plus and iconic. Iconic is an academy prepared both, plus is mainly an academy. You can choose any one of them, but uh, yeah, you can also use this code to get extra discount that is Dr. Ankit Life. So let us start the session, which was image session. So let us see this abdominal wall image. What is this over here? Here, once you remove the abdominal wall, or you can say the whole trunk wall, what are the structures which you see behind it? So, just for your orientation, this part is basically the diaphragm over here, thoracic abdominal diaphragm. So, above is the heart and the lungs over here, and below this is the abdominal part, below the and below it with the pelvis part. So, once you open the abdominal wall, what do you see? You see the anterior organs, which are basically the liver and the greater ventum on this side policeman of the abdomen. Now once you cut the greater momentum, what do you see behind it? Behind it, you all seen the coils of the small intestine, the jejunum on the upper left, ileum on the lower right side. right? And above it, you are seeing this transverse colon which is going on and the ascending colon. So just writing A over here and T over here, you remember the this large intestine, it is at the outer part of the peripheral part of the gut or the whole abdomen. So this is the large intestine, a cecum, ascending colon, transverse colon descending colon and sigmoid colon behind it okay so this is that thing now still you can see the liver which is overlapping most of the stomach over here a small part is what you can see over here that is again your diaphragm over here okay. so if you remove the greater momentum this is what you see but now what if you remove you take out these structures also so these are all intraperitoneal so we are going anterior to posterior so obviously we will be going from more intraperitoneal to secondary and then primary retroperitoneal organs. We will see that. So after you remove this small intestine and when you cut the liver also, what you see is this image over here. So here the lower half of the liver has been cut, sliced out to let you show, let you see the stomach over here. That is the stomach part. You can also see the peritoneal ligament between the stomach and the liver is the less momentum over here. Greater momentum which was cut in the very beginning. So, and now you have removed the jejunum and ileum also. So, think about what could be this yellow colored fat in the peritoneum behind the jejunum and ileum. This has to be your mesentery of a small intestine. Now, here you are seeing again seeing the ascending colon with the cecum and the transverse colon over here and the descending colon on that side. This is what you see here as the liver has been cut, you can see a small part of the GB over here, the gallbladder. Right? Now, what if you remove these parts also? What if you remove these parts also? What will start to see? So if you remove the whole mesentery and the transverse colon, remember transverse colon is an intraperitoneal, stomach is intraperitoneal, liver is intraperitoneal. But now if you remove the mesentery and the transverse colon, you see the structures behind it. Yes, these are the structures behind it. Here the stomach has been cut longitudinally to show you the gastric rugies over here. These are the gastric rugies over here. But now as a mesentery has been removed, and the transverse colon and the other parts of colon have been removed, you are starting to see the duodenum. This is the duodenum part. So stomach continues over here as the duodenum, which is the retroperitoneal. Duodenum is retroperitoneal, though it is secondary retroperitoneal. <coughs> so duodenum is that, and in the concavity you can see few part of the pancreas over here. So mind you, the duodenum and the pancreas, they are secondary retroperitoneal. Now posterior to their level, you will have the primary retroperitoneal. On these sides, you can see the area of the right and the left kidney over here. These are both the kidneys. They are primary retroperitoneal. Along with the IVC on the right, and you can see this whitish colored aorta on the left. I'm just writing A over here, abdominal aorta, which you can see the bifurcating into two common iliac arteries over here. And if you try to judge that which muscle could be this, remember the whole kidneys and this <coughs> retroperitoneal structures are resting on posterior abdominal wall. So this thick muscle is your swas major. Swas major. Remember the swas major over here, appendix, appendicitis, the swas sign, and all this. So the whole lumbar plexus is actually behind it. So this is the whole retroperitoneal structure which you are seeing. 
Here you can see a small part of the bladder also over here. So just these figures are there to show you that how the organs are oriented. And let me extra tell you over here that this area is for the spleen over here. That also we can correlate this area is for the spleen, which is near the fundus part of the stomach. Right? So these are few images going from anterior or you can say intraperitoneal to more posterior. So the sequence should be crystal clear in the mind as an MBBS graduate. Now there is one more image over here. When you remove everything like the duodenum, stomach, pancreas, remove it and you are only seeing the primary retroperitoneals. These are primary retroperitoneal organs. So just to let you know that there is a right and the left kidney which are at the same level of the IVC and the aorta. Okay, here you can see the vein artery pelvis if you remember the structures in the renal uh, hilum are vein then behind it renal artery behind it the renal pelvis and the ureter over here. So you can see the IVC going down on the right side overlapped by the aorta common iliacs over here and this is your swas major and that has to be the ureter over here. This is the ureter and that is P dot M dot swas major. This whole is swas major on both the side. Right? So this was the orientation which I wanted to give you and uh, yeah, this could be the opening for the what you can say the esophageal hiatus in the diaphragm which continues as the stomach so that is around the level of T10 if you remember theoretically right IFC is slightly above it at T8 and aorta is slightly below it at T12 level so these could be some of the levels over here right so these are the images guys I hope you liked it and yeah download the Unacademy learning app the greatest platform over here for the learning and if you like the video you can like comment subscribe share these all that's all for the session guys follow us for more mcqs and images thank you